today's video is going to be a part two of um, my last video I talked about in the outro that I might be doing a like aesthetic hair and makeup tutorial thing and you guys said that you wanted it so here it is uh, I'm filming this in my bathroom and this I'll show you guys my setup right now in a picture uh, could it get any more aesthetic than that like honestly like I'm very credible in this subject My hair looks really bad, I had to clip my bangs back because they're not being nice to me today. So I'm just going to tie all of my hair back because I can't do my makeup when my hair's in my face. Like I just don't get it how people can just do their makeup with their hair already down. But here we go. So the first thing I'm going to start off doing is moisturize, moisturizing my face. I'm using the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Cream. Um, love this stuff. Yeah. I already washed my face and put Vaseline on my lips, so the last step was to moisturize my face right here. The next step I'm going to do is put on foundation. I use this foundation every time, you guys know. It's L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I have very oily skin, so this is my lifesaver. Uh, I'm only going to take this much, a little pea-sized amount on my finger so lately i've been too lazy to wet my beauty blender so i've been using this thing they used to be super popular like a year ago something like that i don't know uh they're just like spoon things they kind of look like a spoon but uh it just has like really really dense brushes right here so it doesn't absorb any of the makeup that's on your face and it like smoothly distributes everything i don't know i just like it because it feels really nice on my face and i feel like for me it's a lot faster than using a beauty blender i think it's blended we'll see since i am filming in my bathroom there's only one source of light which is here so weird shadows on my face sorry uh it's fine you guys know what i'm doing afterwards i put on my eyebrows i have the maybelline tattoo studio brow gel thing and i really really love it really recommend her let me guys mm, no let me know if you guys are a person that does their eyebrows first before their foundation or their foundation in their eyebrows obviously i like to put on my foundation before my eyebrows i just feel like it's easier i'm really messy when i apply my foundation so i don't want to mess up like my eyebrows but let me know what you guys prefer doing uh this is going to be like the most straightforward and simple makeup tutorial because I'm not good at makeup so I want to do like as simple as possible and I feel like the art ho aesthetic Instagram people don't wear that much makeup at least the girls that I follow is very like baby faced um, glowy pink so that's what I'm referencing my things on there's a ton of other tutorials on youtube that like do glam very very nice makeup but you're not gonna get that here thank god i already have my eyelash extensions on there they are we love her i used to put on strip lashes literally every day and i'm really glad i don't have to do that anymore to go on with the eyes i thought it'd be super cute to do a pinky pink eye huh? um but i'm just going to use blush as eyeshadow because why not i'm using the tarte blush in party that's what it's called it's like there's like three a's in there but um gonna use my finger because i don't have a brush and i feel like with the eyelash extensions it's a lot easier to apply with your finger so i'm just gonna go like close my eye and then put it on top so there is one eye mm, cute now i'm just gonna blend it out with my pinky um does it look okay? I think so. I feel like you can see it a lot better in real life. I don't know if on camera you can see it that well, but here you go. And afterwards, I'm going to take my ColourPop highlighter palette. It comes with the blush too. I'm not sure what it's called. It's my favorite one ever though. My sister and my mom stole it from me. So whenever I'm home, I always want to take it back. Uh, but I'm going to take my fingers again, dip into the highlight shade part and then put that in my inner corners there we go yeah it's definitely very very prominent in real life but sorry if you guys can't see it in the camera yeah i don't know the next thing i'm going to do is go ham on the blush so i'm going to take the same tarte blush that i use for my eyes 
and put it all over my cheeks all over my nose literally look like i have been sneezing for like 24 hours straight so first off i'm gonna start with a blush on my cheeks and now going on the bridge i'm trying not to be too reckless though because i don't want to get makeup in my nose piercing because that's not a good idea and then i'm gonna put it under my nose what is, i don't know what that part of my nose is called but here there we go now i look like a crazy anime character but we love her and now we can't forget to put highlight all over our face as well so i'm taking the same highlight palette palette but i have a brush this time and i'm going to just highlight my face afterwards i'm going to take the vaseline off my lips there we go and a thing that i've been doing a lot lately is taking any liquid lipstick so i'm taking this sephora collection liquid lipstick in 25 and i'm not going to actually use it all over my lips i'm just going to dab it right there i look crazy right now but trust the process i'm only going to use like the pigment of the lip color if that makes sense so then i'm just going to take my finger and rub it around so there's what it looks like i feel like it looks a lot less harsh than using just liquid lipstick like it looks like it could be natural but like not really but there it is then i'm taking this ColourPop ultra glossy lip very very glittery lip gloss and putting that all over my lips because i just love the way that it looks and just like that, we're done with the makeup. I am heating up my hair straightener right now. So my hair straightener is all heated up, I think. It smells kind of burning. Um, but I'm going to take out my bangs now and beware. They're not looking so good today. Um, so that's why I wanted to like straighten them kind of. I'll show you guys what I do. I'm going to take my straightener and... Curl my bangs inward. Usually it takes a couple tries to get it right, I guess. Let's see. I guess it's fine. Actually, no, I don't think so. Uh, for my hairstyle today, I'm just going to do something very simple. I'm going to take the hair right here and take some more hair. It's kind of like, it's like a French twist. Is that, is that what it's called? I don't know. But I'm going to twist it like this. And then taking a bobby pin and clipping it like this. This is when I wish I had those really, really cute uh, butterfly clips where I could just clip like that. Like, look super cute, but all I have are bobby pins from like the dollar store. So, here we go. We're gonna work with what we got. Uh, I already have two other retro 90s inspired. Uh, hairstyle videos so if you guys want to go check that out go do that that's that's what my hair is gonna look like today but that's it yeah my hair looks bad sorry but uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you guys next monday might do an extra video this week but we'll see uh i don't think i'm gonna posting this on monday because monday is new year's eve and i feel like a lot of people aren't gonna be on youtube so i'll post it earlier probably and yeah Hope you guys like the makeup. You guys definitely don't like the hair because she's ugly, but uh, see you guys later. Bye. I don't know if I like it with glasses or without glasses. I don't know.